Well, when we moved here five years ago, when I took this job, my wife was kind of in transition and she was looking for something interesting to do. So she volunteered at the Cancer Support Center uh, here in Duke and just fell in love with it and introduced me to a lot of what was going on, invited me to the first Tree of Hope lighting celebration. And it occurred to me that this was kind of a good fit for what we were trying to do here at Clayton Oxford. This has become really important to us. We have over 200 team members here and a huge number of them have been impacted by cancer either on a personal level or with friends and family. And I know that sometimes when you're going through that there's a feeling of helplessness and being able to participate in this is important and it helps empower people and by giving their time, talents, and money, uh, it, it really eliminates that feeling of helplessness, makes them feel like they're doing something to, to move the fight forward. We have multiple projects that we do to raise money for Kids Can, and they go from bake sales to putting our general manager in jail. He thinks it's not gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. We do raffles, we sell 50-50 tickets. I think that our biggest fundraiser is the shirts the Stronger Together shirts that we're doing this year. Our team rallies uh, with this cause, first of all, because our heart is bigger than this building. And um, we have had multiple, multiple team members who have gone through cancer. Some of them has passed already and they were dear and near uh, to our hearts. So what we've done throughout this year is try to honor them uh, with all of this. I have cancer, but I, I'm a little bit better than some people, they have it. Some of them can't make it out that hospital, some of them can. I'm one of the lucky ones that made it out, and uh, which we need to help the ones behind me to bring them along with. Well, I lost a few loved ones from it. That's one reason. I just lost my wife about six months ago, and uh, I've experienced myself with cancer. I had colon cancer. I had a father back in 1981 died from lung cancer, and uh, my mother had breast cancer, so that's why I think it's important to me to raise money to help cancer. So what type of cancer I was treated for was melanoma. It was a mole that I had had my entire life. Um, and then the type of services that I utilized at Duke Cancer Institute was Kids Can. It was huge for my son who was 10 at the time. His grades kind of dropped off, and so, and he didn't understand a lot about the diagnosis, so he immediately thought, my mom was going to die. It, it changed the, his entire outlook and it changed his school grades. I encourage others to use these services because it, it changed our family's whole outlook on cancer. This is something that it had hit close to home because we've lost two team members here before. I think all of us kind of felt that radiate throughout our workforce and I think we just hoped it wouldn't be one of them.